We have news courtesy of Hypebeast again regarding Teddy Santis, what it, what it feels like um, undefeated run so far at New Balance USA, man. So far, I've not seen a single miss from this guy when it comes to New Balance USA. Ever since he's been appointed, what was it, Crave Director or whatnot, everything that's come from this guy's hand has been absolute fire. I'm actually going to check his Instagram quickly and see if he's actually uploading anything new. But I remember when I was checking his Instagram for New Balance, I was like, God almighty, is this guy like just incapable of making bad shoes? It sort of reminds me of the early days of like Ronnie Faye. Um, remember the guy from fucking, um, what's his name? The guy from Kiff, right? When he was first doing collaborations, he felt like he couldn't miss. And so so far, you know, as as time would have it and as life would have it, he's got a few faux pas here and there. But there was a period in time where, you know, he couldn't miss. There wasn't a single shoe that he did that was badly done. It was all absolute fire, 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 fire. Oh, okay. Tay Santa's complete Instagram has completely been wiped. That's a shame, so we don't have any new stuff here to show you. But regardless, man, these shoes here, whoo, these made in USA 990 V2s, like in terms of colorways, in terms of material choices, in terms of finishes, it's just so well done. Like, I love this upper, and I think maybe it's just a picture and how it's been lit up, but essentially the upper looks like a dark blue, uh, maybe a navy, maybe a black. But whatever they've done with it in terms of the pigment and the hue, somehow, because it's been, because of whatever application has been done to it, it somehow looks like this is all one piece. Do you know that's what I like about it? But I'm pretty sure once you wear it in a bit and once you're giving it a few scuffs and dents and whatnot, you'll start seeing a little bit of, um, uh, you'll start seeing some differentiation between the panels, right? Some fraying here, some creasing there. You'll suddenly be able to pick out the panels and it'll start to look a bit different as you start to wear them and progress. <coughs> and then there's also like this solid um, kind of, you know, off-white outsole or sorry, midsole that everyone's doing at the moment. This solid, but to kind of break up the color. I also like the fact that for the most part, it's dark colors at the top and then you break it up with the whites in the bottom. I like the fact that they've included this mesh here that looks very different than mesh that i've seen before i'm not sure if it's a mesh that's specific to the new balance it kind of looks a little bit more coarse to the touch i like the fact that there's this different material application here this looks like it might be suede you've got this sort of like weird new buck tip here towards the back of the heel tab like just loads of really crazy cool details that i know were probably slaved over for hours and hours on end that kind of added to this overall silhouette and this this shoe that make it look great and another thing too to point out about the 990 v2s or new balance in general for me i always feel like again from being a new balance head from wearing new balance for a very long time that there's something weird about the instep of new balances they don't necessarily look as great as the outside yeah as the outstep or whatever it's called yeah you know what i'm saying whereas for whatever reason this colorway and the way that they finished it they look completely similar and completely the same on the inside. If anything, you know, you've got this extra hit of grey here. But for the most part, they look exactly the same. And I love that. Um, that, again, I feel like is a, a, a design consideration. Something that definitely went into uh, thinking when he was make, putting these together. And then you've got this here, which I think is a great touch. You've got this encased black sort of like upper with the little white um, hit, of course, outside on the end so you can see it. But also like this pop here towards the top where you've got these off-white laces and a completely off-white tongue. But then you've also got this great little detail with the grey sock liner. Like, all these little details I feel like are so amazing and so well done and put together. I like the fact that he didn't do any metal eyelets. So no eyelets at all, which I'm really, uh, I absolutely hate. You can have them at the top there as a little hit. Don't get me wrong, fair enough, do your thing. But I hate metal eyelets in general. I feel like they're absolutely trite. And of course, the, the acid test for most sneakers is always a looking down because... You know, even though I love what they look like on the side, I'm never actually going to see them like that day to day. Most of my looking at of these sneakers is always going to be from the top down. And I love that as well on there. Um, what deal have you got in the instep? You've just got um, New Balance Athletic Shoes, Boston um, in the middle. So I do like as well that there isn't a lot of like Teddy Santis sort of like branding on them. It kind of feels like to me, he's trying to hearken back to the golden era of new balance or trying to maybe remind people like how good of a shoe company new balance is um by trying to maybe create these imagined nostalgia pieces right things that you feel like existed back in the day but didn't really exist so with that there's no point of slapping your name on it because you want it to be discernible from afar 
that these are both new and old shoes and that definitely somebody contemporary and modern touched them with their design hand. Do you know what I mean? That's what it kind of feels like what he's doing at the moment. And I think he's done a really, really great job, man. I had my doubts about him being hired in the first place to do these collaborations because I felt like the New Balance and Amelion duo collaborations were getting a little bit, you know, repetitive and a little bit boring. But he has absolutely smacked out of the park. And again, I shouldn't have doubted it because say what you want about Amelion ALD's pricing, you can't say the collection's shit. Every season, every fucking season, that collection comes out with absolute fire. Fire, 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 fire. But of course, unless you've got, you know, unless you're earning really a, a serious wonga or your parents have got a pretty decent um, allowance to give you, it's fairly hard to justify spending, I don't know, north of £400 on a fucking polo shirt. Do you know what I mean? But there's no denying that these motherfuckers know how to make really cool clothes like legit they make really really cool clothes right there's nothing here on this fucking online store from ALD that I wouldn't wear including these loafers everything up here would be worn 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 fleeces are two two you know 255 pound for a fleece is a bit mad you know 95 quid for shorts is a bit insane but let's not deny that the absolute wares that they make are absolutely incredibly 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 sick let's actually see if they've got a line to see the actual collection yes tw season 22 lookbook and they've got i'm sure they've got the twins again modeling in them who actually look incredible at aod like look at that is there anything in this that you wouldn't wear from this row of absolute fire it's all absolutely amazing all of it so it shouldn't surprise me that the, a person who can make a look as interesting as these, right? Something like that. Would also go to New Balance and feel like, you know, applying his design codes, his design eye, his touch, his flair on a pair of 990s is probably easy. You know what I mean? That's, that, that's light work. If you can do that, if you can do this, you know, doing um doing this as a New Balance is not, not, not that hard. So I really shouldn't be surprised, but it is still kind of blowing my mind that this guy is able to do so many great things at New Balance. Like again, I've not seen a single miss. If I quickly search his name on Hypebeast in terms of New Balance, I bet you I won't see a single miss in terms of just looking at the fucking cover images of the stories and stuff for New Balance stuff. Like, look at these shoes. Look, look at that. Another one. For this 990 V1. Like, personally, I've got like the model, but mock mock up wise in terms of colorway in terms of application that is a stellar fucking shoe it's all like what is it combinations of browns and creams and blacks like incredibly well done you got this kind of new buck i don't know what this is it new buck what is this no it's not new buck it is sort of like a brush suede we've got this little, all these little bits hanging off of it <clears throat> different variations of suede you've got a different twist on the end without the border around it you've got whatever this mesh i don't know if it's even mesh or what, not on the thing you've got this black heel tab that kind of breaks everything up like really well done all the colorways there's not a single miss and then the white ones of these 99 v2s are fucking superb if anything they remind me of like a really great example or kind of flip of like a new balance all white air force one it kind of feels like it right the zen gray remember the kind of classic air force one high zen grays it kind of reminds me of that sort of classic colorway. Like, really, really well done. Like, there's not a single miss on it. Sing not a single miss. Look at it. All absolutely incredible. Ever since this guy got... um Yeah, so more colors, color colors here. We've got some blacks and blues. So ever since he got named creative director, there's not been a single miss from this guy, man. It's absolutely wild to see, man. Like, consistency is out of the, loop, out of the fucking loop. Out of the world, sorry. Out of the stratosphere, wherever it may be. But yeah, check those out if you're interested. Um, when they, when are they meant to come out anyway? Let's see. When are they meant to come out? Are they out already? I'm not too sure. Did, did I say the date? Come hurry up. Uh, July 7th. So yeah, they should be out tomorrow. £195. £195, sorry. Check them 